To our correspondent Cyril Vanier, who joins us on the line from Antanariv, uh, the capital of Madagascar. Cyril, then it seems the opposition has rejected talk of referendum. Yeah, that's right, it has. It was uh, to be expected. The leader of the opposition, the former mayor of the capital, Anton Anariv, his name is Andrew Adzo, uh, just declared to journalists that he rejects the referendum. Uh, and his, I had uh, his spokesperson on the phone a little earlier, and uh, he repeated to me that as far as they're concerned, the president is no longer the president. Uh, as you know, they've uh, demanded that the constitutional court recognize that there's been a change in power, uh, because they now claim that they are a uh, transitional government. This is the opposition. Um, and they demanded that the constitutional court recognize what's happening on the ground into, uh, and put it into law. Uh, the government, on the other hand, it says it's still in power. In fact, this morning I witnessed a cabinet meeting with all the ministers. It was chaired by the president. And they say they want the referendum to solve this crisis. Now, Siri, you mentioned that the idea of a transitional government. Uh, I know earlier when I spoke to you, there was talk of who indeed has control of the prime minister's post. Well, <laughs> Uh, I think if you ask most people in the country that question, they would be hard-pressed to answer. Uh, the truth of the matter is that there is a, uh, a legally sanctioned prime minister. Um, he attended the cabinet meeting this morning, and uh, uh, he, he refers to himself as the prime minister. The opposition, on the other hand, when they refer to the prime minister, they're actually talking about one of their members who entered the prime minister's palace flanked by the, uh, by the army. Uh, just this happened two days ago, and he sat in the prime minister's his chair. Um, so it, it, it was obviously a very strong symbol because he was showing that he had the, the, the capacity to occupy the prime minister's office and he unilaterally proclaimed himself to be the, <clears throat> the country's new prime minister. But as far as uh, the, the constitution is concerned, the officially sanctioned and legally recognized prime minister of the country is still the man who was uh, named by the current president. Okay, now, Siri, just briefly for us, against all this backdrop, whilst all this wrangling is basically going on, this political crisis being exacerbated, what's happened in the street? How has it been felt in the street? Well, a majority of people in Madagascar are actually uh, sitting this one out. Uh, they're glued. <clears throat> they're glued to their television screen, they're listening to the radio, they want to see how this is going to end. But this is not a case of the population divided, uh, split equally uh, in the middle, uh, one half supporting the opposition, one half supporting the government. Most people just want the violence to end. And then you have a core of, of supporters who take to the streets for both camps. Some of them uh, come to the presidential palace, other goes to, uh, others go to Independence Square. Um, but overall, most people are just hoping this will end.